Hey kids, so mom calls me and says, honey, the van won't start. Do you think you can jump it? And I thought, well, I think if I had a running start, I could probably get over the car, but I don't think I can get over the van. So anyway, I'm right here uh, at the van, trying to give it a shot to start and let's see. Sure enough, there's nothing. So we're gonna go uh, pop the hood and then I'll just show you what, what we look for next and how we, how we jump a car, all right? Okay, so the first thing we want to look at, unless if, if you left your lights on and you know it's just, your battery just needs to be charged, um, but if there was nothing that you, you weren't sure what exactly happened, then really you just want to look at the at the connections, right? So it could be because a lot of times if you don't pay attention to your engine, these connections can be horrible. Okay, um, mine are pretty clean, and I, I, I'm pretty sure actually in my case my battery's just the its life has just run out but as you can see my connections are good there's no corrosion here but a lot of times when you lift this up there'll be a lot of corrosion and that's what this tool's for okay it uh this cleans the post you just stick it on the post and twist it around and then this fits up inside that connector to clean that out so that's one thing to look for okay so now you want to make sure you have a good set of jumper cables okay that's where you start because you can these are these can be pretty cheap if you if you go too cheap on them you just want to make sure you got a thick gauge make sure it's good a lot of times those safety uh those car safety kits they come with really cheap jumper cables so i would say you might want to just put together your own kit and make sure you get a good set of jumper cables inside there okay okay so we're at the dead battery right that's where we start and an easy way to remember this is red dead so we're gonna connect the red to the red on the dead battery, okay? Um, but before you do, even do that, you wanna look for a place that you're gonna put the black one that's a ground. You would think it would go here, but that's actually what everybody's scared of because that can cause a spark when you actually connect that if you connected it to here. I used to do that when I was younger. I never had a problem, but just for safety reasons, we wanna connect the black to a ground um, in newer vehicles, I think there's an obvious place where a ground is, but we, you want an unpainted uh, surface that is a ground. And to be honest with you, I, the, the best one I'm seeing is this, right? That little nut right there is a ground that I'm going to use, okay? So we're going to go ahead and connect. We'll just leave the black set off to the side. If you have a helper, this make, it makes it a little easier, but I'm trying to show you what it looks like doing it by yourself if you have to do it by yourself. So, okay, so we want to set this off to the side and we want to connect the red to the dead. Okay, this battery's dead. There's really nothing going on. This is just sitting here. Okay, we're going to go over to the other car, the car with the good battery, and I'll show you what we do there. Okay, so now we're at the, the car with the good battery and we go ahead and connect those and we connect the red to the red terminal okay and you can just put it right on right on there that's good and make sure that this is clean too right so we're getting good connections make sure you get a good connection so that's that okay now we're gonna go back to the dead battery okay so now we're back at the dead vehicles battery and like I said you'd think you'd connect it there to the negative but you're actually not because there can cause a spark and if something if there's some gases it could cause yeah, I mean, I, when I was younger, I, uh, I always did it that way, never had a problem. So odds are you'd be safe, but just for pure safety reasons, this is the step that everybody's scared of. You want to connect this to that ground that we talked about, okay? So right here, we're connecting it to that. Make sure you get a good connection. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the, the good car battery and start the engine. Okay, so we're back in the car with the good battery. We're just gonna go ahead and start it up, okay? Okay, and so depending on how, uh, how dead that other battery is, you might need to let this run for a couple minutes. And you could even, especially if you're working with two people, uh, you could, they could rev the engine while you go ahead and try to start that other car, okay? And then also when you're in this car, make sure everything's off, no heater, no, uh, radio, nothing. We just want to have it, all the juice going to the, to the dead uh, batteries, or the dead car's battery. Okay? 
Okay, so we're back in the van, the one with the dead battery, and we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. That uh, The other car's been running for about a minute or two, and we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Well, it didn't start the first time. Let's try it again. There we go. It's running. Okay, so in my case, the I think my battery is just uh, uh, over its lifespan. They usually last, uh, it depends on the, the quality of the battery, anywhere from six to 12 years, really depends. Um, so I think my battery is actually just dead um, and not gonna hold a charge. But um, what you would normally do, if you just left your lights on and you know that it was just that and that's why the battery was dead, now you would want to drive around, you know, drive your vehicle for 10, 15 minutes and then, you know, don't go too far in case you have to, if, if you park somewhere, then you may need to jump again, right? So just be smart about that. Drive around for like 10 or 15 minutes, come back to where you have a good vehicle and then, uh, and then you can go ahead and turn it off and see if it starts back up. Okay. So now that this is running, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take the cables back off because you got to do that now, right? Basically, all you're doing is doing it exactly the opposite of how we put them on. Okay, so let's go do that. Okay, so now we're just going to remove everything just the opposite of we did before, okay? So you're going to remove this. Okay, we took that off. And really, uh, you could just go ahead and remove this right now if you wanted to. The only tricky part is you just want to make sure that the, the ends don't touch. So just to be safe, we're just going to set this here. And you just want to set it somewhere where it's not setting on anything metal. Again, if, this is by, if you're doing it by yourself. If you're doing it with somebody else, it's pretty easy to do this, right? Because then you could just hold the cables. You could remove that. They just hold the cables apart while you remove the other ones. But just for safety, we're going to go back over to the other vehicle and remove those. Okay, so we're back at the good vehicle battery and we're just gonna remove it. Like I said, just the exact opposite of we put things on. We're taking off the negative. Now nothing's gonna spark, right? There's nothing, the two, just the two reds are connected, but then just remove that, okay? Now there's nothing, there's no spark because that thing's only connected to the red on the other side. So nothing to be scared of there. Okay, let's go back over to the other vehicle. Okay, so this is the last step. We're just pulling this red off of here, right? We wanna remove that. And then actually I didn't put that other cap back on, on the positive. You always want to put that back on. We'll do that on the other one. Um, and I'll just go back and do that real quick so you can see. Okay, so I should have done this when I removed the, the cables, but I didn't. So just to make sure you don't miss this step, make sure when you go ahead and remove the cables from the good car that you put it back how it was when you started. So if we look down here, right, this cap just needs to go back on top of here because that protects the corrosion and you just want to make sure that that's, that's uh, going to stay good for a long time for you. Okay, so that's about it. Um, I think it's, it's pretty simple, but I, I'm going to drive my van around for a little while and see if it holds a charge. And if it doesn't, then probably my next video might be me changing my battery out for you. All right, thank you. Uh, you got this, and I'm proud of you.